Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. My dog Wicket, who is here on my lap, uh, does not have his own website as of yet. Does not have his own blog. Uh, he's got an account on Dogster.com, and apparently the video that uh, we did when he was dressed up like Darth Vader and his sister Pixie, who's also in the room here, uh, the video has now gone viral. It showed up on Comcast On Demand, apparently. Someone emailed me the other day. They almost, my two dogs, almost made it into a commercial um, with that video. But uh, apparently there's some licensing issues with George Lucas. Apparently he said, no, no, the commercial is too good. My movies are supposed to suck. Uh, so, uh, you know, we thought about building an official website for both Wicket and Pixie. Uh, but our, the dogs, that's the dogs' names. Uh, but I don't know, uh, what's the point of a dog having a website, really? I do have a top five tips for making a website, however, as submitted by Lewis King from lewisking.net. He said, hey, Chris, I'm Lewis. I'm 14 from Bishop Stafford, Stafford, near London, UK. I've never been there. I've had a website for about three to four years now. Oh, wait a minute. You've had a website since you were 10? I've created my top five tips for creating a website of your own. Number one, don't go for the cheapest hosting. These may look great at first, but what, from what I found out, they're not. The support is often bad, and the servers are often cheap and slow, and you do not even get what you pay for. Try to look for a respectable one with many reviews. And if you're curious as to what I use, I'm on webair.com, W-E-B-A-I-R.com. Uh, I've been with them for several years, ups and downs, and uh, they're great. If you want a, a recommendation, I'd be happy to give the, that recommendation. In fact, I, I may be able to work out a special deal for you if you let me know if you're looking for a new web host. Just email me, chris at perillo.com. I'll let you know. I'll make the connection for you. Number two, learn how to code and design. The worst way to start a website is with no coding experience or design experience. This is often the thoughts of new website owners, and it puts users off. You need to take the time out of your life to code and design properly. You'll get much more out of the site that way. Well, it's true, but don't feel you have to become an expert in it. There are plenty of programs out there that can help you build websites. In fact, some web hosts will help you set up what you want to create for you. And, you know, certainly a good uh, foundation in understanding HTML is really all you need. Uh, and then the rest of it, well, they, your, your web host may offer some video tutorials. There may be some good tutorials for you to find on YouTube as well in terms of the basics of having your own website so this is just kind of starting points for tips number three don't swarm your site with adverts often too many ads put off users and they won't come back if you must put at most three adverts on a page that's the maximum i'm pretty sure you hate websites with loads of adverts think of your users well and i know some people run ad blockers i you know i i don't i don't believe in ad blockers i, I don't believe the use is very ethical um but I think as long as it's done tastefully and contextually, I think advertisements are just fine. When advertisements get annoying, that's when I think they, they kind of you know step over the line. Uh, I've got you know uh, support from YouTube with the way that I'm integrating partners uh, inside of my videos, but I try to make them. I mean, there's just they're just logos that float beneath my dog's head, and then I have the chat over here. So you know, there's it's a fine balance. You know, there's not it's not overwhelming, but it is there. That's that's branding for you. Number four, get a good domain name. Often free domain names like .tk, .us, .tt, etc. are bad, full of frames with adverts in them, and they are often having problems. I recommend getting one from a respectable reseller like GoDaddy.com. There are many coupons around for GoDaddy. In fact, you can type in Chris at it for GoDaddy or Chris1, Chris2, or Chris3, and you can get a discount on your next GoDaddy purchase. They're, they're one of our partner sponsors that you'll see their logo floating through. Or if you want, you can go to in, in the chat room at live.perillo.com. If you, you type in exclamation mark coupon, it will return the list of the GoDaddy coupon links that we have. Number five, finally, give your users a way to contact you. This could be in the, the way of a contact form, an email link, as long as you've obscured that email link and we've done another video on how to keep spammers from, from catching your email address or anything else. Your users may need your help, and without a good, clear link to contact, they won't know how to email you, and you might lose their business. Many users are not going to bother looking through a database or very far on your website for an address. And here's an addendum to Lewis's list. This is a great list, by the way, for you know getting going with a website. Some tips you got to keep in mind before you get started. Um, if you are a restaurant website, it 
I post your hours if you are a physical store if you have a storefront that's the only reason I'm going to look at your website well a restaurant I guess you'd also want to post your menu but more importantly your hours I can't tell you how many restaurant websites I've been to where I'm like, are they open or even storefront are they open I don't know just post your hours man come on it's just you're that's all we ask I mean, we ask a little bit more than that, but I'm saying just the basic level. You know how many restaurant websites out there do not post their hours? How many storefronted websites, storefronted, is that even a word? Uh, regardless, I think you know what I'm talking about. Post the most important information to your website. Why are people looking at your website? Put the info out there. Don't hide it. Let us know. We want to use your website, man. And if you don't have a website, come on. It's the it's the 21st century? No, it's the 22nd century. I'm kidding, but I, I'm trying to future-proof this video. It's 2008, there, right, up, right up there at the time of this recording, but I have a feeling this video is going to be just as relevant a year from now as it is today. Ten years from now, uh, who knows? Maybe we won't have the web anymore. Maybe we won't have email. Maybe we won't have dogs. Maybe we'll all have morphed into just, you know, cyborg creatures that eat hamsters from a planet near Mars of the radioactive variety good tip list there Lewis appreciate that Lewis of lewisking.net uh, if anybody else has any tips to pass along whether it's related to web building or maybe it's just technology or neither one any tips list you got to pass along I'd love to see them my email address is chris at perillo.com and of course you know we've also got a chat room that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.